remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. I'm particularly concerned about my governor. He has carried all of us along. And that's the first time we have seen it in Delta State. In there, there are people from Labour, APC, PDP. I think that's a good done for our state, and I celebrate that. Before you talk about the many infrastructural developments that he's putting on ground, within one year, you know, I'm thrilled. I'm a member of National Assembly, even though I'm of Labour Party. But after the elections, we have come together to see to the smooth running of the state. And uh, we, we, of course, we wish the governor well because uh, we want uh, great achievements for the state and what uh, performance. And so far, I think he's doing very well. It's like you have seen what we have come to do. It's early, quite all right, but he has tried. So far, apart from the infrastructures, he is also empowering people. And you know, empowering people is the key now. Going by the economic of the day, of the country now, how they ha you know, people are facing hardship. People barely can feed three times a day. So he's trying, he's empowering people, giving them money, like the testimonies we have heard. I am also a beneficiary through data cares. My group, my women, some of us have benefited. So I can testify that he's touching lives. One year in retrospect for, the, for His Excellency, Right Honorable Sheriff Uborowori. He has uh, done very well, especially in the construction uh, sector. Roads are going on everywhere, infrastructural development are going on in the local government area. You have one thing or the other going on, there's a boom in that area. Well, in the area of peace, he has done very well to the local the, the state is calmer now. Uh, the state is very calm as we speak. Uh, then um, salaries of pensioners, they have been up updated now. They are no longer coming around to come and fill forms and all that. So that area quite commendable. I'm having two areas there, some of about four or five years. And now we are having it. You see, thanks to him, kudos to the SSLSE for coming to our head at this, at this trying time. I, as a civil servant, I'm happy. As a matter of fact, my wife is also a civil servant. She too, when I go to the hospital, she told she was also smiling. And she's a teacher. You know what that means to, to teach her. So, so that is, I think we'll commend the governor. We'll thank him. Uh, and I know the civil servants will work with him to making sure that his vision uh, for the state uh, comes uh, true. One year in office of uh, the sheriff, Oboruwari. Well, it's been awesome. And of course, evidence-based activities that are scattered all over the state, um, particularly the infrastructural developmental activities, the building of uh, bridges, uh, access roads, and so on and so forth. And also, the most important, as it were, is touching the lives of the vulnerable, the poor in the society, and also um, kind of um, um, uplifting alien economy, like the MSMEs. And this is where the program we just concluded now comes into play, the DKS program. Because with the DKS program, a larger strata of society, persons in the, in the society have been touched. And uh, it has really, really impacted in their lives because socioeconomic activities have been revamped, you know, under this dispensation. There is hope for delt Deltans and uh, it's expanded the opportunities to reach to as many deltans as are possible. Our governor elder, Sheriff Oboewori, is going to do more for the state. He's just under one year in office and see the things he has done. He has done a lot. In fact, we've never seen it like this before. It is a blast. And we thank him for the many feats to do most of the projects he has done just under a year of his administration. Say thank him, kudos to him. In our system, we are if one government goes, another one come. We abandon projects. That's why we have a lot of abandoned projects all over the state. But this is a governor that has come to say every project must be completed. And we are very grateful to him that he's completing this project. Yes,
Because Julius uh, Mega Road, uh, now stand back. Eh? The, the project they last. You know, they scatter. So our governor, Bori Wori, he do well. Ah, the place was very dark. I'm very boring. Not busy at all, at all. <laughs> So we love the street life very, 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 very much. May God bless Sherry for us in Jesus' name. Ah, Governor, thank you very much. God bless you. It's just because of this street light. I love it very well. They can see my tomatoes and fresh pepper now. His Excellency is the second of Bumudiana that is uh, coming to uplift this environment with this kind of project. When rain falls, there is water. You pass inside bush, bush. But now you are passing. A high bridge, a clear road, the motor will pass to Agbaroto. As a matter of fact, Sheriff is the man. A worry boy has been born into the government house for the first time in the history of creation of Delta State. So what we are seeing today is a celebration of project from Sheriff Oborowori. From our governor, Sheriff Oborowori, I say may God bless you for empowering us. May Almighty God grant your heart desires and you will not fail in your own time in Jesus' name. Inside the Niger Delta, 